Hey guys, it's Adrienne. I am here tonight sitting at my super messy desk. Um, it's my one night off this week and I wanted to talk to you tonight about my Fitbit Versa. Let's talk about how I use this at work to make my job a little bit easier, some of the functions, apps, what I really like about this watch. All right, you guys, let's talk about my Fitbit Versa. First, let's take this off. Let's talk about the band first. So I got this band on Amazon, nothing fancy, but I like that it has all these holes in it. So I'm able to have more airflow to my wrist so my skin doesn't get funky um, underneath while I'm washing my hands over and over and over again. So I also wipe this down sometimes with Sani wipes. I love the peach color um, and yeah, I have other bands, but this is my favorite one for work. Let's talk about, oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about my watch face. Um, I picked this watch face for very specific reasons. Let's just talk about a couple elements real quick. I've got a second hand that's bright red, so that stands out. Great for counting heart rates, respirations, whatever else that I might need to count during my shift. The digital time, the analog time, the date, because I never know what, what day it is. Um, every shift I work spans two days. I start in the evening one night, and then at midnight, it's a new day. So I'm always looking to see, is it tomorrow yet? Um, I also have the temperature, and of course my biometrics, heart rate, um, stairs, whatever, steps, uh, all that is super important. Okay, so now that it's off again, let's talk about these two buttons on the side. So whatever apps appear on your first page on this left-hand side, those are gonna correspond with these two buttons. So this button down here is my Simply Light app. And so um, this is really great because I can go into a patient room, I can have quite a bit of light, so if I need to check a chest tube in the middle of the night or clear my pumps or something like that, I have this light. And as you can kind of see when I first opened it up, there are different colors you can set it to. You can turn the uh, brightness up and down. So this is actually a really versatile app. And as a night shifter, long-term night shifter, I think this is fantastic. Um, I can even just kind of have, I don't even need to point the light like directly at what I'm doing. I can just kind of have the watch on with it lit up and I can see pretty well. So, um, yeah. so that's the first one. This button up here is going to be my MediClock. I really love this. So obviously this just looks like another timer with a second hand, the hour, the minutes, nothing special, right? The difference is, is that this Fitbit, after about 20 seconds, the screen will shut off. In this MediClock app, you can see this little number four down here. This app will stay lit up for four minutes. So that way, if you're in like a code situation or someone is seizing, this isn't going to shut off on you. You can see how many minutes you've got down there. So since I know that this will stay on for four minutes, I know that by the time I get to one minute, it's time to, um, you know, like if I'm in a code situation, give Epi, restart the time, restart the meta clock. So then I've got a three minute timer, but I can also be watching the second hand if I need to time something else. So, uh, yeah, I just really like this app. I think it's a really great feature. I think it's a really great, uh, app to have. Okay. So let's talk about, I've got alarms pretty uh, self-explanatory. I don't think I have it set up right now, but usually because I can have many alarms set and toggle them on and off, I will usually just have, um, oh, let's turn these off because we don't want these to go off. Um, I'll usually have alarms set, like preset for like when I need to wake up, I's and O's, uh, you know, whatever, whatever I need. So that is my alarm app. I've got Spotify heart rate. Now this isn't going to work right now. I don't have my phone in here with me. In order for the spot rate, spot, oh. Spotify heart rate app to work, I have to have the app open on my phone. So as you can see, it says that it's trying to connect, but it doesn't have connection to the Fitbit app. So the reason I like this is because, say I'm charting, I have my phone in my pocket or on the desk, and I have a little earbud in my ear, I can just change uh, my playlist, the song, whatever, with this app. So I'm um, not gonna spend too much time on that since we can't really see it. 
um, sun up, sunset, and weather really are just because I have patients that are in a hospital room. Yeah, they have windows, but like you can't really tell what's going on outside when you're facing another concrete building. So I have those two apps just so I can answer people's questions about, hey, um, well, what's it like out there? Um, I've got the calculator. It's fine in a pinch, but the buttons are so small that it's annoying to me, so I don't use it that often. The timer um, is just exactly that. So I will use this, say, I know I have like a one hour infusion. Um, I don't want the pump to beep and wake my patient up. So, you know, if I set this timer for 56 minutes or whatever, I know I can get in there before that hour is up so that the pump doesn't beep and wake them up. So um, that's just one example of how I would use this. I think that, um, yeah, there's like a million different uses. Next page, yoga and coach. These both are really interesting apps. I've used them a little bit, not very much, but you can essentially pick um, yoga routines or in the coach app, you can, let's see, I'm looking through my camera so I can't tell where I'm going. So, yeah, let's back it out. In any case, you can basically do yoga routines with your watch as your guide. You've got a timer. You don't have to necessarily look at a TV or a computer screen, um, but you have to know what the, what the um, particular uh, pose is. So that, I, like I said, haven't used it a lot, but I do like it. Then there's this Coach app which again, haven't used it a ton. I've done a few things here, but you essentially have different workouts that you can do. And so once you start the workout, it will actually coach you on what are we doing? So instead of me, like I said, watching a TV screen or a laptop, um, I can do this wherever and it will give you the timer uh, and then the next exercise. So that is really interesting. Um, I like that app. And then it'll give you a summary at the end to tell you how long did you work out? What was your heart rate? How many calories did you burn? Etc. Uh, this exercise app, I have hardly used this one at all, but it's kind of the same thing. You can, um, oh, is this a running app? That's why I haven't used it. I'm not really much of a runner, you guys. Um, I could use the bike feature. I haven't done it yet, but... That would be really cool, track your mileage, your distance, um, see how long you've been riding. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back. Oh, it's going to make me, it's going to make me quit. Okay, so then, which is also nice because then if you're actually trying to use this app and you bump it, it's not just going to log you out and lose all your data. All right, so box breathing, I want to spend a little extra second talking about. Um, when I have patients that have major anxiety, uh, you know, I, I can see on the heart monitor sometimes pe people's heart rate starts to climb. So sometimes it's hard to talk people down and get them to slow their breathing. And so having an app or something visual that can help them is a great tool when someone's freaking out. So I've used this concept before, not with this app. I've used this app for myself, but I've used this technique with patients before. Essentially what you want to do is you want to slow down your respirations and the best way to do that well here Let me just show you we're gonna start breathing So when this circle when the circle starts to expand that indicates you're gonna inhale It's gonna pause for a second. So you're gonna hold your breath for a second or two Then you're gonna blow it out as the circle gets smaller again this this causes you to slow your breathing and pause just momentarily between each inhalation inhalation and exhalation. So as you can see, you're breathing in, big deep breath, hold it, one, two, three, and back down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so essentially what this is doing is this is causing you to slow down your breathing which is going to slow down your heart rate because they work together and help squelch at least the physiological symptoms of anxiety. This is also great when I'm having a rough day and I just need to chill for a second. So this is a great exercise. Um, so yeah, I recommend that app if you've got a Versa too. 
Let's back out. Let's go to the next page. Tasks. I'm not going to open this up because I don't want to reveal all of my to-do list, but this actually syncs with my Google Tasks app so that, um, well here, let's see. Let's see if there's anything on here that's important or that I don't want you to see. Probably not. Let's see if it loads. I don't have, I don't have my phone in here, so it might not connect. Yeah, so I should have brought my, well, you guys, der, I'm recording with my phone. That's why this isn't working. I don't have a camera for vlogging. Anyway, you just got to trust. This works when I'm not recording on my phone. So both the tasks and the G agenda both connect to my Google account so I can get my calendar and my tasks on my watch. Um, color flash, it's just another flashlight. This one has, well you can't see it, let's see if I can turn the volume or the temperature down, maybe if I angle it. So essentially this just works a little bit differently but you can change the color um, so that you have yet another flash, flashlight option. I don't know when I would ever use this but it also has this like strobe light um, effect. Um, I would not use that at work, <laughs> just for the record. Uh, it's also got a timer, so anyway, that's helpful, but that's way back here on this third page because I don't use it that often. Workflow is also a new one that I've gotten. Um, it's kind of like a lap counter, or I shouldn't say a lap counter. It's kind of like a multi-timer so that you can actually set, um, well, let's see, how do I do it? I haven't learned how to use it very well yet, guys. But in addition to be able to change the colors on the clock face, there is a way that you can set it for multiple. Oh, I suck at this. Oh, wait, scratch all of that. I remember what this is. This is my Pomodoro Technique um, app. So essentially what the Pomodoro Technique says is that you can be more productive and get more done if you have periods of work where you're hyper-focused and then you have a short break in between these short sessions and you time your breaks so that your five minute break doesn't turn into three hours of Netflix. Um, so with this, you would start this. Um, you're going to have your 25 minutes of solid work time where you're just focused on what you're doing. Then it'll vibrate. It'll give you a break for a particular amount of time, which I can set within the app. And then when that break is over, it buzzes again. It's back to work. We start, oops, bump the camera. Then we start the next 25 minute session. And it goes on like this for four sessions. So you're essentially getting, what is that, like over over 90, well, like 100 and some odd minutes of um, focused, productive work. You can set the timer for whatever you want, but this is the way that I like to do it. So I got this app. I haven't used it yet, but now that I remember what it is, I'll, um, I'll try it next time I'm editing. All right, let's, let's talk about these in a particular order. So temp conversion is exactly what it says. It'll help me convert, um, if I don't have like my cheat sheet in front of me, it'll help me convert our thermometers, which are in Celsius, to Fahrenheit, which most people understand. If I said your temperature is 36.4 Celsius, the average patient isn't going to have any idea what that means. Um, Camera Watch is an app I can open up, and if the app is open on my phone, I can detonate my camera shutter with this app. So that's pretty cool. The Relax, this is just yet another one of those applications that will help you um, take time for yourself and chill out. The nice thing is, is if you're wearing this app, it'll also, if it notices that you're moving around a lot, it'll tell you to be chill. It'll tell you to be still. So um, it does have the haptic feedback. You can kind of hear. Um, I'm not as big of a fan as this with the haptic feedback, but I guess you could use this in a situation where you don't want to be looking at your watch. You just want to like close your eyes kind of vibe out, do some deep breathing. Um, this is great for that. Again, it has settings you can change how long you do it and that sort of thing. Um, the Mole app, you probably can guess what this is. This is a nice way to pass the time. Oh shoot, I missed that guy. Um, let's try it again. That was not a good performance. 
Oh, I wonder if I need to clean my screen. It's not recognizing my touch. God, I'm striking out with these apps, you guys. But I will say, this is a fun game when um, I'm not looking at it through a camera lens. Um, and uh, I actually can play for a while. So, let's see. Do I have anything else? Oh, these I really don't use very often. My Walgreens app I use mainly so I can get notifications when my prescriptions are ready. Um, there's another calculator. I think I'm going to delete that one. That one I tried out. I don't like it. This meditation time, it's not bad, but um, I do transcendental meditation. I don't really need an app that's going to guide me through, but this is nice because then if I am doing TM or something, I don't have to keep open, opening my eyes to look at the time. I can just do my meditation, um, and I usually do 20, but um, I can do my meditation. This will give me some vibrational feedback when it's all done. And then I don't have to keep like peeking out of one eye to see what time it is. So settings, tips, those just come standard with the Fitbit. So that is my Fitbit Versa and some of the apps that I use at work and ways I like to stay organized and um, on the move without having to lose my mind too much. So I really hope you like this video. I hope that um, this helps you decide if you want to have a Fitbit Versa or not. Um, again, oh, the last thing I'll tell you, sorry, before I forget, um, I don't have anything on here now, but I can also receive text messages through this. I can't reply to the text messages like I can. I think you can do that on an Apple Watch, but um, I can at least receive messages or notifications. So like I get delivery notifications if I get packages to the house, stuff like that. So um, that can be really helpful to have, especially if technically you shouldn't be using your phone on the floor. I'm not telling you to take your phone out on the floor, but... I'm also not going to pretend like nobody does it. So, um, yeah, that's the Fitbit Versa. I hope you guys like this video. I already said that. Happy nursing, you guys.